first introduced on Rocket Lake and now also available on Alder Lake is the ability to run your memory in gear down mode. Gear down mode is a JDEC DRAM specification where the DRAM assumes the memory controller is sending command address signals at half the usual rate. Normally, the DRAM expects a memory address signal every clock cycle. In gear down mode, that becomes every other clock cycle. This comes, of course, with a performance penalty. To understand why there's a performance penalty, we need to touch a little on how memory works. On DDR5 memory, there are two buses. There's one command address bus and one data bus. As the name already explains, when the CPU wants to read or write data to the memory, it uses a command and address to specify what needs to be done and where. The actual data is sent over the data bus. The data bus is DDR or double data rate, meaning it can send two signals per memory clock cycle. It does this on both the rising and falling edge of the memory clock cycle. The command address bus is SDR, meaning it can process one signal per memory clock cycle. It does this on the rising edge of the memory clock cycle. Now, with DDR5, things are a little different than with DDR4. So let's first review how gear down mode worked on DDR4. As the command address bus is the main communication bridge between the memory controller and the system memory, their operating frequencies are usually synchronized. That means the memory controller and memory operate at the same frequency. In normal operation with DDR4, every clock cycle, there is one command address signal sent from the memory controller to the memory. And the memory also expects one signal per clock cycle. So everything works fine. When gear down mode is enabled, that's not the case. In gear down mode, the memory expects a command address signal every other clock cycle. A convenient or even necessary consequence of using the command address bus every other clock cycle is that you can run the memory controller at half the frequency and still achieve the same performance. Let's look at an example with DDR4 memory. As you can see from the table, the default operation for DDR4 is to have the memory controller and memory frequency run at the same frequency with gear down mode disabled. When gear down mode is enabled, the DRAM expects half the amount of command address signals. This opens the opportunity to reduce the memory controller frequency by half. This is the implementation we saw on Rocket Lake and the reduced memory controller frequency vis-a-vis -vis the memory frequency is the main reason behind its increased memory overclocking capabilities. Now, DDR5. A major selling point of DDR5 is its much higher operating frequencies. Leading up to the Alder Lake launch, we already saw leaks of DDR5 8000 and more. For your information, the highest DDR4 memory frequency to date is a measly DDR4-7200. To support these higher operating frequencies, the default configuration for Alder Lake is to operate the memory controller at half the frequency of the system memory. However, the memory controller now sends two command address signals per memory controller clock cycle. So, from the DRAM perspective, for each DRAM clock cycle, there will still be one command address signal. Let's expand our table from before. Again, as you can see from the table, the default operation for DDR5 is to have the memory controller run at half the memory frequency with gear down mode disabled. Because the Alder Lake memory controller sends two command address signals per memory controller clock cycle, from the memory's point of view, there is still one command address signal received per memory clock cycle. When gear down mode is enabled, the Alder Lake DDR5 memory controller runs at a quarter of the memory frequency. So let's summarize. For Alder Lake and DDR5 memory, the standard configuration is that the Alder Lake memory controller sends two command address signals every memory controller clock cycle. The memory controller frequency operates at half the DDR5 memory frequency. So the effective amount of command address signals processed by the DDR5 memory is still one every memory clock cycle. Memory gear down mode specifically means that a command address signal is sent every other memory clock cycle. This allows us to operate the memory controller frequency at half the usual rate. For Alder Lake and DDR5, 
That means when gear down mode is enabled, the memory controller will operate at a quarter of the memory frequency. Note that from the perspective of the memory controller, a command is sent every clock cycle. At the end of the day, the point of gear down mode and gear types is that you can run higher memory frequency by reducing the memory controller frequency. However, what's possible in theory isn't necessarily useful in practice. So let me leave it at this. For low to medium frequency DDR4, run normal mode with 1T and the memory controller frequency identical to the DRAM frequency. For high to extreme frequency DDR4, run gear down mode with 2T and the memory controller at half the DRAM frequency. For regular frequency DDR5, run gear down disabled with 1T and the memory controller frequency at half the DRAM frequency. For extreme frequency DDR5, run gear down enabled with 2T and the memory controller frequency at a quarter of the DRAM frequency. In the Asus ROG BIOS, you can select the memory gear ratio in the extreme tweaker menu under the memory controller DRAM frequency ratio option.